Hey y'all, it's Jess. Welcome to part four of Autistic Hyposensitivity. Today we're doing olfactory, which is your sense of smell. Sometimes it presents as not being able to distinguish what certain smells are. So I'll smell a candle and I'll be like, is this apple or is it cinnamon or is it? And I can't figure out like what the smell is for a little bit. Um, lots of scents smell the same to me. Um, and I also don't notice when, like with hearing something, if something's starting to beep, like it doesn't like immediately make me turn and realize, like if something has a, some kind of smell, then it takes me a while to realize, oh my gosh, I've been smelling this for 10 minutes. You don't have the abilities to notice or recognize or distinguish scents. Most of the time I forget that different places have different scents. And so when I like go to smell something, then I'm like, oh wow, this exists. <laughs> I don't know if that's a really good explanation, but that's kind of what happens with me. It might present as a poor sense of smell. Um, I really, like my nose is always stuffy. I've never like really noticed scents um, unless I'm like deliberately like, ooh, what does this candle smell like, you know? A lot of the time my mom is like really bothered by something that smells weird or strange. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I can't smell anything. Um, and then other times she's like, oh my gosh, do you smell that? And I haven't realized that that smell is like there until she says something. And I'm like, oh, wow, I do smell that. That's awful. Or that's really good, you know? Also because it's not one of my senses that I'm usually aware of, um, I'm, I'm a very visual person uh, and I'm a very, um, auditory person too um, and sense of smell isn't really one of the senses that I have that I pay a lot of attention to so when something does come up that can make me pay attention to it then it feels really strong sometimes I will be somewhere and like in a hotel there's this hotel I used to go to and it had a very distinct sense of smell and so because it was so distinct that I could actually like be aware of it most of the time. It just like, I think it was the air conditioner. It just smelled like amazing. And so I will have like distinctive memories of that scent um, because it actually was strong enough to hit me. And so when I realize, when I, when I like actually remember that it's an option for me that I can smell something and like, and that makes me happy then I'll actually become really sensory seeking with smells. So I like to get candles. Uh, I love aromatherapy. I like to like put different scented stuff in my bath. I like to um, hold on to my coffee and tea and smell it really strongly. The bad part of this is if there was something burning in my house, it would take me a while to realize it. So that's kind of dangerous. I have a very um, olfactory memory. I don't know how to say that, but like that hotel that I was talking about that smells really nice. Like anytime I smell something that smells like the air conditioning from that hotel, it immediately brings me back. It connects to my visual cortex almost. And I can like visualize me walking down the hallway in that hotel uh, and just like inhaling the air conditioning smell. It's just like, it's very bizarre. But um, our sensory systems are very, very interesting as autistic people. And so, um, that's how olfactory hyposensitivity presents in me. Uh, like I said, sense of smell isn't really a big part of my life. It's not one of my major like um, senses that I recognize a lot. It, and so like I don't have as many examples as I would auditory or visually hyposensitivity. And so this one's a little bit shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, put in the comments below if you are olfactory hyposensitive, then what kind of examples that you would use to describe you? Because uh, I don't really have that many examples. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you next week. Next week we're doing vestibular and proprioceptive. I think that's how you say it. So see you guys next week.